I'm not gonna lie, same. I have not really seen Mr. R as much. I, I'm not sure if this is his first tournament in the States or not, but hey man, he's going up against Egoist Link right out the gate, getting a whole bunch of percent. I mean, being a Link man myself, your objective here is to honestly start looking to set up your projectiles to wall your opponent, and then start, you, your neutral is your, one of your best friends, so is the boomerang. But Mr. R immediately shutting down any opportunity for Egoist to start setting up anything there. And he's, that's his job, right? Stay close to Link, don't give him the space to set up the bomb, don't give him the space to set up the boomerang. Oh, okay, Egoist. <laughs> Egoist, uh, he, he's, he's definitely been landing with a lot of really aggressive options, and he's going to fall to that back air some poor DI. Yeah. Oh, Egoist, kinda, he, he's got some stuff, though. Yeah, he does. In that situation, I feel like he should have sent a bomb at that situation, because he also could have caught the landing from Krom. Okay, send up the projectiles here, but no avail. Up smash, looking for a possible anti-air option, but... It looked like Toon Link with that up smash. Yeah, he really did. He has no jump. Yeah, yeah, the, oh no, he couldn't put off the bomb jump. You yeah, can actually yeah. Z-drop the bomb and use an explosion to actually get yourself back on the stage. Yeah, I think he didn't recognize that he didn't have the jump until too late there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You can actually do it without jump, but if you have the jump, it's a lot easier. Yes, absolutely. Oh, nice. Up and to the up. You get some extra percent. Mr. R looking at a show. No signs of slowing down here. Mr. R doing some weird up B stuff that I've never seen before. I mean, he feels comfortable, right? When, especially when your opponent is already 76% on the yeah. last dog. He, 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 at this point, he knows he's winning this game. Yeah. He's looking for a showcase, but Ego is not in. I know what you're Mr. R is still able to recover. There's the bomb with the late explosion, and Ego is both in the us matchup again. He's swinging here, but he's not finding anything. A, hit, a yeah. swing and a miss is all we're seeing. I think this matchup is actually legitimately pretty hard for Krom because of the Link, Link's bomb. I feel like Link's bomb shuts down a lot of uh, Krom's recovery. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I assume that's an attack cancel. It's hard to tell a lot of the time when you're commentating, but jab, attack cancel, back air. Yeah. Really, really good, solid for taking stocks, especially on a stage like Stadium where the end of the stage is so close to the blast zone. Yeah. And it looks like your prediction was right, Slip. Mr. R will be doing the Hungry Box. Stand yeah, he's up just and standing, play. Yeah. man. He's just standing. He's got great posture, too. So. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does. Uh, you know, that's the funny thing, too, about being a gamer. Sometimes we have horrible posture. Yeah. Correct posture when standing, that's important. It's it, actually, it's actually really healthy to have correct posture. Yes, I when I sit down, I feel like I have terrible posture. Mm -hmm. I do most of the time. When I stand, I, I'm like shoulders back, the whole deal. Yeah. So I, I, I can see it. I understand it. He's got the power up though. Yeah. He even points to the crowd like, you see that crowd? Yeah. That's my yeah. Crowd, I wonder if he, I wonder if he's like playing with his homies in the car on the way here on like the airplane, just like standing <laughs> up. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty your, hilarious, this but is your final turn Ego, yeah. <laughs> we're about to spare some turbulence. Uh, Mr. Rob's Crom's too sick. You're gonna shake the plane a little bit. Yeah. But hey, Ego is gonna switch to the cloud. I respect it. The uh, the blade beam definitely a little bit easier to, to snipe Crom's yeah. recovery with. I think well, it, it was the way he played Link. He was he was playing Link, but the problem was, like I said, he swung the sword, but it was more of a swing and the miss. Absolutely. Should have been looking for neutral air. Should have been looking for a little bit more boomerang. The spacing. That's what you want. Not enough bomb setups coming out from Eagle but this cloud, not looking any nicer here. And immediately Mr. R swings, but no hit. But he does have Eagle at a high percent here. And that dash attack sends up the first edge guard face for Mr. R. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Mr. R, assuming he's gonna come down Egoist with the next level gameplay. <laughs> not gonna swing down. Oh, F tilt. Don't air dodge in front of me. Mr. R's uh he's looking to make this quick so far. Yeah. 37%. It's interesting because Mr. R does go back a little bit forth between Brawl, and he was actually one of the best mark lanes in Brawl. So yeah. for him to go back to a Fire Emblem character, you know, kind of comes full circle almost. I have never seen falling up air into up beat. That is brand new to me. <laughs> Marth has got some stuff. Man, Krom has got some stuff. And that forward Ooh. smash definitely showing the power that Krom does have. Of course, that's the difference between him and Roy, right? He's got the power within the sword versus within, uh, throughout the sword versus within the sword. Man, Ego is looking for these upbees himself. Oh, parry. Mr. R. That's no jump. Oh, he's styling a little bit. <laughs> I mean, like I said, right? You got three stocks. You're pulling at the pretty much tail end of the percent. You're looking to make this a Twitch clip at some point. Oh, yeah. what a call out, but not going to kill. Nope. I think uh, Cloud's Limit up B is, oh, probably his best kill tool, but another great kill tool is Krom's forward tilt. That yes. was a great call out by Mr. R. Double three stock. Good stuff there. 
I mean, he's saying anything can change, man, but those victory screens with the 20 and a handshake doesn't look like anything will change soon for Ego, is Not anytime soon. Yeah, anytime soon, man. All right, I'll see, you, see, see you on the losers bracket, fam. <laughs> <laughs> see you on the good, losers bracket. Good luck, bracket. bro. Yeah, good, luck. good luck. You got, you got some players to fight down there, but immediately, of course, like I said, uh, Mr. Art finished to fight Arcus, our further commentator as well. And of course, we'll probably take it out. Well, they're going to most likely take out Arcaster. And we'll fight uh, Cookie Slayer, aka Zan, if you guys remember who Zan yep. is. If, if all goes according to plan. We are going to be seeing, though, right now, the humongous Heftig, aka, AKA Leffen. AKA Big Left. Big Left. As, as, as guy. some call him, yeah. The guy. Uh, and his opponent is another guy. <laughs> Who is this guy? It's actually a good friend of mine, uh, Noteka. We actually okay. drove together in a carpool, uh, Mario Main from SoCal. Goes to. Uh, you be biased for him, I'll be biased for Left. We'll do a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Work. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad if I like, try to hype him up and then he's like, no, it's not him. I'm sorry, this is actually. I don't actually think this is Noteka. But of course, if you guys have to check out the bracket, Leffen is uh, projected to actually fight um, Salem in the loser's side. He is. Yeah. We'll, but we'll see how things will go in this big shakeup. Because yeah. uh, in order for Salem to fight Leffen in loser side, as it projects, he does have to make his way through Scizor, the, uh, one of the best split mains in SoCal, right next to Rex. Rex also one of the best mains in SoCal. Yeah. He actually lives in San Diego, and of course Arrow as well. Arrow lives here in SoCal, so we'll see how things go. I mean, it's quite the big bracket for these two to be having the storyline that many people want to see, right? Absolutely. And, you know, Leffen, is, he's got to get through some killers himself if he wants yeah. to get there. He's got to get through Slayers and Schroeder, two people who, you know, that that is not going to be easy yeah. for Leffen. He's, he's got to really put the work in for that. So, for those of you guys wondering for this player, it's going to be Kochi. This is not my good friend, Oteca. They actually do. Sorry, uh, bud. Now we're <laughs> both just rooting for Leffen. Yeah. So, it is Kochi <laughs> versus Leffen. Leffen did beat out Taro with a 20 in the handshake. And he has faded to fight... Uh, between Sora and Paul it up after this matchup, but we'll see how things go. Leffen gonna go ahead and make play the Roy. If you're watching Mango Stream, man, 